I've always liked the signs on the road that say no services. To me that means that there is adventure to be had and that if you get in trouble out here you're going to have to be really self-reliant to get out of it. I think that's the thing I respect most about the folks that have made a living in the Owyhee for so long. They found a way to make do with what's on hand. In the early times they didn't have money but they had time and they built fences and corrals out of the lava rock that they found. We haven't yet found an angle wide enough on our cameras to capture what you see in the Owyhee. Anytime you're up to see the early light, it's hard not to feel your own sense of renewal. Anytime you hike the ridge at dusk to see the sun's last rays on the red rock, it's hard not to look back and feel thankful. Almost like you found something that no one else knows about. The Hawaii can be as unforgiving as it is awe-inspiring. The desert has a way of stripping nature down to its bare essentials. Rock. Wind. Clouds. Stars. Your eyes follow the contours of the rolling hills and canyons. It's a place where your imagination can get away from you. There are plenty of opportunities for not acting grown up, for finding that inner child that still wants to climb rocks and scrape knees and see what's around the corner. What is that quote? Nowadays we know the price of everything and the value of nothing. I hope that 20 years from now a young person could come back to the Owyhee and say, the generation before us really understood the value of this place, and I'm happy that they protected it. <laughs>